Now we're going to go over some checks that we can throw to our backhand. Okay, the first check is a half moon check. Again, nice and low on my standard defensive posture, nice and solid. Sticking hands are out in front, creating that separation between me and my opponent. In this, in this check, I'm going to have my, the head of my stick trailing on his back, forcing him to bring that stick in front of his body. Okay, so this is a simple check, but very effective. Okay, so it's all about quickness and timing. Okay, so right as he brings that stick in front of his face, I'm going to come over top as quickly as I can and then reset. So trailing on his back, forcing him to bring it in front of his face, and then coming right over top and resetting. Okay, if you hold it too long down here on his glove, you might get called for a hold. That's why you need to reset. Okay, come here, come down with it, and reset. This next check is called the ding dong check. It's one of my personal favorite checks. It's very safe, but also a very effective takeaway check. Okay, so the same principles apply. I'm getting nice and low, sticking hands out in front, but this time my stick starts upfield from my man. Okay, and all I'm doing is faking like I'm coming over top, ding, and as he brings it in front of his face, dong, coming back down with it. In order to throw these stick checks efficiently, we need to first try to build up our hand speed. Now here's a good drill I like uh, to use. You just need to find a partner. Partner doesn't even need a stick, just needs his hands out in front just like this. And all I'm gonna do is slowly build up a figure eight and then eventually get faster. So you can see this stick motion, it's very similar to my half moon and ding dongs, right? Go the other way with it. I really find this drill, these movements really translate well onto the field. These drills increase your forearm and shoulder strength and your overall hand quickness, which is essential in throwing effective stick checks.